left in the rain, left to build a fire to cover themselves as best they could, and to wait. That was the feeling of these people, most of them Afghans. They had traveled for up to two weeks through Iran, Iraq, Turkey, across the Mediterranean, and then through several countries in Europe, paying three to four thousand euros per person, only to fall into limbo in Hungary. We people that we are don't have family in here, we stay alone, no pay attention, it's three nights we stay here. All the time they said the bus is coming after two or three t hours. This wet clearing was one of three collection points for people streaming across the border from Serbia. In the afternoon, they got help from UNHCR. UNHCR, we brought in tents. We will put tents at all the collection points. We will give people water, something to eat, and a blanket. And then the police will take them to the registration center. Within minutes, the wet and discouraged refugees and migrants were transformed into busy builders of temporary homes. UNHCR officers were part of the tent erecting teams. First one, and then more police buses arrived. The first to board were families with children, some of them sick babies, after hours in the rain. The, the babies, uh, blue, blue, blue. Then the rest. Now they were going to a reception center, where they would be pre-registered. Then they would hope to continue their long journey through Hungary to their goal, Germany and other countries in Western Europe. An empty field in the rain. Soon, more newcomers would arrive. But this abandoned clearing was testimony to progress in dealing with refugees and migrants arriving in Hungary. 